Good day everyone. In this video, I will be discussing some important points in the application of multimedia in e-learning. E-learning and multimedia go hand in hand. In fact, e-learning distinguishes itself from other forms of learning content using multimedia. Even a simple ebook or PDF book comes under the realm of e-learning. However, we seldom recognize them as e-learning as they don't use multimedia. That sums up the role of multimedia which plays in e-learning. It is the use of multimedia that makes e-learning so effective and engaging. An e-learning service provider must know how to make the most of multimedia to engage the learner. Before we talk about the use of multimedia, let's first understand some basics. Humans are multisensory. That means they can interact and communicate with five different senses, such as sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. According to Minoli and Kainath, Multimedia refers to an interdisciplinary technology that utilizes the multi-sensory nature of humans. Digital multimedia integrates five basic types of media. In simple terms, by multimedia we mean a combination of text, graphic, art, sound, animation, and video delivered by any electronic means. Five basic types of media form the world of multimedia. So now let's understand each of this and how to use them in e-learning. Let us take first text. Text is the most basic form of media. It includes alphanumeric characters and special characters. Variations in the text can be materialized using text types, sizes, text fonts, colors, and background colors. Okay, to make best use of text, okay, reading text in, is the most primary form of instruction delivery. And learners get ample time to read and comprehend text. So here are some tips for the best use of text in e-learning first make text font readable so we should avoid fancy or very fancy or cursive text second play with text size so we may use keywords in larger font or make it bold to make them stand out third Use proper background and font color to make text stand out. And fourth, use text color and emphasize and highlight only. Okay, the normal text should be black or gray as per the background. Now let's have static images or image. Images are perhaps the oldest form of media. Humans learn to draw images even before they learn to write text, and images can be of many types. And common images include illustrations, photographs, icons, line art, clip art, and others. And the following are some tips for the best use of images in e-learning. First, use an image that supports the text. Second, Never use an image just to fill the content area. So use images only when they add value. Otherwise, the image becomes a distractor for learning, although it may be visually appealing. And third, decide the type of images to be used. Be consistent with the image format also. Now let's have the third one, which is animations or motion images. Animations are the main attractions in e-learning. Animations can be based on text, images, or both. And it can also be in 2D or 3D. 
Okay, and here are some tips for the best use of images in e-learning. First, keep in mind the learning factor. Animations should be fostering learning rather than just attracting the learner. Second, judiciously use animation speed and elements. Don't make too many moving elements. So the ideal is one or two at a time so that learner can focus on it. So maybe we could just optimize the speed. And third, if character animation is used, you should take care of hand movement and gesture. The learners should always focus on what our learning content wants us, okay, to or for them to learn. And next, let's have audio. Audio is a powerful medium of instruction. Learners follow the audio and engage with it, the speaker. And here are some tips for the best use of audio in e-learning. First, syncing of audio with the on-screen elements is very critical. If learners are listening to something and it is not reinforced by the text or visual elements, it is detrimental for learning. So learners uh, will be also at loss to comprehend if that happens. Second, audio should not be verbatim of the on-screen text. It is the function of the screen reader, not narration. So audio should be explanatory and text and graphics should be reinforcing. And next, we should take care of tone, narration speed, and access. We should always base it on who our audience are. Okay, and let's have the fifth one, which is video. Videos are getting more and more popular in the learning community, as video can be animated or shoot. A video is a multimedia that uses audio, visual, and text. And here are some tips for the best use of video in e-learning. First, keep videos short and crisp. It is difficult for an average learner to pay attention to learning videos for more than 20 or 30 minutes. Second, videos are best used as a small learning bits with short messages. And third, new social learning platforms to deliver those videos like YouTube, Google Classroom, and others. Okay, so we have here an important note. Multimedia plays a critical role in making e-learning effective, that is true. However, it needs a detailed design and instructional approach to make each element of multimedia stand out and contribute to the learning process. Okay, so a teacher has a very vital role in delivering this multimedia in e-learning. An effective multimedia strategy can make learning outcomes much more efficient and effective. Okay, so in addition to application of multimedia in e-learning, let me also introduce one of the existing software that we could use in disseminating e-learning contents to our students. Since the pandemic caused by the coronavirus arised, e-learning became a trend. And some of our teachers aren't that skilled enough to engage multimedia in e-learning. Thanks to e-learning course authoring softwares, we now have different platforms that we may or we are now using to have online classrooms or online delivery of instructional materials with that e-learning course authoring software is essential in any learning management systems or what we call the lms as it helps in creating e-learning content in different formats and distribute learners via the web and one of the free site e-learning course authoring software is what we call ProProfs. Okay, 
which are able to develop awesome web-based contents easily and quickly. So here is an example of the interface of Pro Props, an e-learning authoring software. So for this video, let me take you to the e-learning course authoring software and show you the basics on how you may create one. Okay, so let's have the basics of the pro props. Okay, so here is the interface okay, of the pro props. Okay, so you just have to open your browser and type on the URL bar the address proprops.com. Okay, but if you're first time in here, you will be required to register an account a work account okay before you could start okay so if you want to create a course just click this button here okay you can actually create from scratch so if you have available resources there then you may just click this one but if you want to use some templates then just go to the courses here okay so i switch the tab from templates to courses so there are a lot of different available courses format here and you may just look for one that you may want to use okay so say for example this one so just click the view button and then click the get this course button and then you will be redirected on the content of that certain course template okay so just choose one and then uh, click the button edit for you to modify the content of that template okay so as you can see here there is a page already which is entitled welcome so if you want okay you may alter the media that was given here so sample here the text so you may modify the text here input the content of your uh, book uh, to transform it into a or into an e-learning one okay and you may also add here a media such as an image or a video okay if you have one then if you want to add more course Okay, or like a chapter, a page like that. Then just click this add new button here and then click for chapter if you want to add and then just do the same here. Okay, and then okay, if you want to add a page, just click the page. If you want to add a quiz, okay, there are a lot different available sources here. Okay, so this pro prof site is very good. A very good and helpful course authoring software for our teachers so if you want to explore more then uh, just go to proprofs.com and register an account and start creating your own uh, e-learning course here and say for example you're done modifying things here for your course just click done and then if you want to send that e-learning course, just okay, click this three button here and then choose send. Okay, so this is how you will disseminate that course to your students or how you will share it. So we have here four options. First is via email. So you may enter the individual email addresses of your student and then send it or you may choose a link where in pro prof site will give you a classroom link or a course link okay of your created one you just have to copy it and send it um, via message like that and you may also share it via social media so we have here facebook twitter okay Google Plus, Share, and LinkedIn. And you may also embed, okay, this is 
the good one also from ProProfs, you may embed your created course to your own website or blog site. Okay, so again, uh, if you want to know more about ProProfs, just register here and you will be guided because there is a training course in this site. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. I hope you have learned something. Thank you and God bless everyone.